Did you do any cool mischievous stuff when you were a kid? Or I am unironically of the opinion that between the years 2014 and 2018, my trio and I uh, had the most fun of anybody breathing. We just the stuff we would get into, like it was to the point where people at our school like would observe us almost as if. And I know that sounds, by the way, so narcissistic and like get over yourself. I swear it's true because we would just like get into these activities and just like do things that people thought were funny. Like we used to play this game where this is like totally illegal and, and wrong, but we would go and we would try to steal wet floor signs from local businesses. Yeah. Um, and just, it was a competition like, okay, this How week. How many can you get? <laughs> yeah, literally. In the boot, in the trunk. Yeah. And so it was just like so stupid because like mm. we could do it in a, in a very sneaky way or we could just straight up do it. And business would be like, what are they, is that the wet floor sign? And they wouldn't really care. But it was funny because you develop a sort of skill when you do things a, a number of times. And so I remember one time uh, my two buddies and I, we went to go see a movie downtown and we saw, maybe it had just rained or something, it was over the summer, there were like three or four wet floor signs in the lobby. Uh -huh. And so we were like, okay, we gotta get those when we leave. So we're walking out and there's you know theater employees, there's a concession stand, and one of my friends is a really tall guy, uh, and he had a hoodie on. He walked by and there was an employee standing in front of the sign, but he was facing away from it. Mm. And then there was a door at the front. So we were gonna go out the side door and go back to our car. And so I had mine, my other friend had his, <laughs> and we were like, leave it, leave it, it's too risky. <laughs> this guy, in one stride, like without even, he just goes and he managed to scoop up the wet floor sign, embed it under his hoodie and exit. And the guy had no idea that it even happened. And it was like, that's like the most impressive thing <laughs> I've ever seen in my yeah, life. Yeah. And so one time we set them all up because we didn't know how many we had. We would just go back to my house, throw them in the attic. My mom was like, what are you doing up there? I was like, it's fine. I was like, well, let's see how many we have. So we set them all up in our driveway. We had like a hundred. We had like a hundred of these wet floor signs yeah. just in our driveway set. We were like taking pictures uh, yeah. by it. Like these are our hunting trophies. And then I remember my that's mom cute. like went up there to get Christmas decorations or something. Thing. She's like, Johnny, what, what is all this? And I was like, well, I don't know what those are. What do you mean? I don't know, wet floor signs. But like things like that where it's probably wrong. You probably shouldn't steal your local wet floor sign. Right, but, but, there's, a, but there's also a virtue. Again, it's like harmless, you know? It's just, yeah. you so for the coolest thing I did, and by cool, I mean, again, objectively wrong, and yet there's virtue in the adventure and the camaraderie and the excitement yeah. of it, right? We would go around my little town and we stole all of the garden gnomes that we could find. Yeah. <laughs> and then we went to some random person's house and we set up a gigantic garden gnome party yeah. The next day, it was on the front of our local newspaper. And yeah. even the newspaper thought it was kind of funny. But yeah, yeah. Or we'd knock on doors and run away, throw eggs at teachers' houses and things yes. like that. Yeah. But, but what was beautiful about it isn't you know defacing people's property. It's that I'm with my guys yeah. and we're doing something dangerous. Exactly. And we feel alive and we're, there's a bond here. And, and as you say, I hope that young people are doing stuff like that today. Unfortunately, my son timestamps these videos, but... He should know that if he did something like that, I would punish him. Right. But I'd say, good job. I don't know. Like, there's yeah. a sense in which I'd be proud of him for doing something more interesting than yeah. playing Minecraft. Yeah, that was one uh, something I really enjoy about growing up is that my dad grew up literally in the house next door to the yeah. house that I grew up in because my grandma lived there since 1965, yeah. and my mom bought the house next door. She introduced my dad. My dad rizzed her up, and, and you know, I popped out a few years later, I guess. But it was interesting because I would tell my dad, like, I'm afraid oh, to ask what rizzed her up means. Uh, it is the act of romancing, Good. romancing All a, right, a young you. lady. Continue. But uh, <laughs> he. Would I? He would tell me like, um, if I said, "Oh yeah, you know, we were biking down so and so, and then so and so got chased by this pit bull, so we had to jump up on oh, that brick wall." On. He's like, "Oh, the brick wall behind the McDonald's." Yeah, me and my buddies would go mm. push each other off and fall into backyards, and dogs would be biting us, like stuff like that. Being able to share that same geography, literally, go to the same middle school and yeah. high school that he went to, walk the same hallways, get involved in similar types of mischief, trading stories. Like that's probably my favorite thing about growing up as a young man nowadays was being able to sort of not necessarily walk in the same path, but it, it's almost parallel in a way because mm. it was the same area. And that's something that is very unique, I think. And I don't know anybody else that can kind of say that. And so I'm very grateful that I have that sort of upbringing that was just so rooted and so parallel. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, do us a favor, leave a comment, let us know what you thought of the video, like and subscribe.